All right. I am so tired. It's been such a long day. I was supposed to film with someone today, but long story short, they kind of canceled on me. That made the process a little bit harder. Anyway, let's not talk about ASMR. Starting with today, I am on vacation mode. I am not going to be thinking about ASMR. Maybe just a little bit. I still love ASMR, but now I do want to enjoy my vacation because it's going to be with a family and it's going to be awesome so let's do it this is a family trip that we take every year we stayed for 10 days in Cancun Mexico and honestly I never wanted to go back but the trip didn't really go as planned so when life gives you lemons I guess you have to make good them. morning we just woke up actually it's just me and my husband we're gonna go ahead and uh, wake up the children then we're going to leave. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Where's Daddy? Daddy's downstairs. We're going to the airplane. All right, this is our ride. And here is my coffee. I believe this is going to be the last one. to miss the flight. Dr. Mad getting checked. Okay. Thought we we're gonna lose her. This is me being very hungry and not sharing my sandwich with anybody. We also got separated. My seat was in the front of the plane and his seat was with the kids. We have two more kids in the back of the airplane. We were on seat 30 and they're on seat 50, so we're gonna have to wait for them outside. But then this super nice lady agreed to switch seats and we were able to stay together. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I don't know how helpful I was as I kind of snoozed throughout the whole flight. so many people at the border right now. We're gonna stay here for at least a few hours. So we just passed security and now we're gonna go get our luggages. Here comes our luggage. Woo! I forgot to get water so I'm gonna go get some water now for the kids, we gotta make sure that we don't get dehydrated. We're checking our car to see if we will fit in it. So we have two options. One is this one, and this is a minivan. And our boys think that we will fit in here. All right, here we go. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Come on, Jack. So much. The little things in life, playing with a little bit of water, splashing. We finally got to our resort. We enjoyed a delicious warm late lunch. My feet were hurting from the sand because I had a crack in between my toes. Please don't ask me. All right, and now. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Is this going to be your birthday? It's your birthday. Oh. We usually wake up very early. It's because our kids just hate sleep in general. So the moment they see a crack of light in between the curtains, they 
immediately turn on their little switch and they want to start their day. I was always a morning person, I have to admit that, but I do use caffeine to give me a little bit of help in the morning. Now I'm just waiting for Dora to come with the kids to the buffet place. We're going to have breakfast and then we're going to head to the beach. My favorite coffee is definitely macchiato. Honestly, I haven't discovered this yet. I think this is the first time that I'm having a macchiato and I don't like a lot of milk in my coffee. I don't like my coffee to be sweet. Macchiato is only a shot of espresso with just a foam like a layer of foam milk and it's perfect for me. I can still feel the coffee taste and it's not too milky. When I drink my coffee, usually it's a time to meditate, think about my hopes, dreams and goals and what I wanna do in that day, how I feel that day. It's time for me. Since I don't have other things that I do necessarily in the morning, this is the one time when I can think about just myself and not about all my 100 children. There's nothing better than getting some vitamin D right in the morning, hitting your eyes. I don't like to wear sunglasses. I don't know, I just don't like the line that they leave on the face. Here we are having breakfast. I was obsessed with papaya and cottage cheese. There were mornings when that was the only thing I ate. Sometimes I get obsessed like that with a certain food and that's all I want to eat. I got this from my dad, I know that. I recently started taking birth control pill that's to balance my hormones and uh, make my periods a little bit more regular since I've been so irregular. And it's so confusing, like for, it's the first time that I'm doing it, but um, I'm slowly figuring it out. Today it's Friday, so I'm taking the Friday pill. And then the second medicine that I have to take is an antibiotic. I don't know if you guys have watched my um, Instagram stories. I am starting to post a lot more often on um, just, okay, so the Instagram handle is just underscore mad spam. That's where I share like everything that happens in the day and I told you guys that I'm taking antibiotic because of that skin infection that I had in the armpits when I waxed. I know it's weird. I don't like to talk about it because it's so strange how it happened. But anyway, I have three more pills that I need to take today. It's every six hours. And after that, I am free of medicine and I'll just be taking the birth control pill. I find it so weird that you have to take the birth control every day at the same time, every day. So if you start taking it at 9 a.m., you should take it around 9 a.m. every single day. It's, it's really hard because you know, you're so busy, you're running around and you have to prioritize and make sure that you don't forget if you do. Okay, go, go pee. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the medicine back in the safe. I wanna make sure that my children don't find them and they think they're candy. Every morning we had a smoothie. I was getting my daily vegetables and fruits intake. The kids also enjoy them, which made me really happy. Because they usually are kind of picky with their fruits. Yes! Okay, that was very excited. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. So my drink has cactus parsley, celery, and pineapple juice. Do you guys know what your drink has? Pineapple, orange juice, and strawberry and grape. That's why it tastes so sweet, right? Here I am pretending to be a mermaid. Just kidding. I just wanted to show you guys how I bathe in the ocean. I always hold my breath when I dip my head in the water. Don't ask, 
It's a thing I do. Nobody stole your scooter. <laughs> oh, don't forget your backpack. Woo! So cold. So cold. We got back home. Oh, boy. How are you? I'm not. Excuse me. I am so glad to be back home. woke up the next day and we had no food in the house by no food i mean no cooked food and no fresh vegetables or fruits i boiled some eggs made oatmeal for the kids took a shower to not be stinky. It felt so good to be back home and use my own shampoo and conditioner. Before buying new groceries, I had to clean my fridge because it was stinky. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw everything out to the garbage outside. I'm going to wash some of the dishes and then I'm going to wash the fridge. I usually like to use warm water and uh, vinegar. It's uh, very, you know, gentle. It doesn't have a lot of uh, harsh chemicals. So it usually does the, the deed. It removes all the smells and it cleans it really well. I obviously forgot to clean it before leaving to Mexico and now the food went bad. So I think whatever I started, I actually cleaned this fridge very well. I honestly haven't cleaned it in months, so it was very well received. Now I'm going to put everything back inside and kind of like organize it, but I'm so happy that it's, it's a clean fridge. They just text or email. You okay? You okay? One thing that I hate, I mean, I don't hate, I just get so anxious, is when I hear them coughing and you know you don't, like, I didn't see what they were coughing with. If they were coughing with saliva, then yeah, maybe. You know, I don't overreact, but she was eating apple and obviously you can choke really fast with an apple, it can get stuck in your trachea. I know I'm overreacting, but when you hear them cough like that, it's just, it's very scary.